Hi there, me, Michael, your friendly neighborhood humble stroke assaulter. Unfortunately, again, a bit of an absence. New year, um, into week two of the new year, so let's start new, right? So we're going to, or at least I am going to start generating more regular content, and you fine folks can enjoy it. Um, play along with the home game, uh, leave comments down below, send me emails, I've gotten a few. I'm going to do an update video this week about sort of the last six-ish months uh, to answer any potential questions that might pop up. Um, however, I've got something interesting today. So, g'day. Got something in the post from Australia. All right, fair dinkum. Um, there's a fine bit of tucker in there. Right? Oh, my blood out. I've got to eat this stuff. Right? Put it down my neck. So, I'm a bit of a nerd, if you haven't noticed. On Saturdays, I play an online Dungeons & Dragons game. And half of the party is in Canada, where I am. And half the party is in Oz, the basically upside down world of the world. Um, so I'm, I've been promised there are no drop bears in this box. Uh, drop bears are fairly evil, um, and there's no dingoes or babies. So uh, this I've, I've blurred out all the possible identifying information, so I can't dox myself or the sender. But Stanny, um, the bard in our party, thank you. I hope there's no um, dried zombie jerky. In game reference. <clears throat> so you take your sharp stabby thing. Ta da. Uh, find a spot where I can't hurt myself. I'm not sure if the fragile tape is from the customs people um, or from the shipper or Stanley did that. I don't know yet. So, But it's fragile. That's Australian for breakable. Let's see here. Oh. Sorry, with a knife, you want to push away from yourself and towards a friend, I've been told. I'm doing that wrong. Now, normally I would hate an unboxing video. I hate them. And then I would just review the box. But in this case, I won't do that. Woo! So I have no idea what's in here. I have an idea what might be in here. But uh, I don't actually know what is in here. Trying not to stab myself because it'd be hard to explain to the psychiatrist. So remember, key point when using a knife, you want to push the stroke away from you and towards a friend. Okay. So I'm gonna put that away. Now let's see what we have in the box that's slightly destroyed. <gasps> Two Tims! We have Tim Tams. So I have double coated Tim Tams. And original Tim Tams. You can make a Tim Tam straw. <laughs> what do we have in here? Packing paper, non edible. Bubble wrap. Never pop the bubbles. For those of you that are Whovians, um, you're Doctor Who fans, um, you happen to be a, um, a Gallifreyan. Never pop the. Nope, don't do that. Bad. Uh, another unedible. Right, fancy some Vegemite and cheese. Oh, lift tab to open. Okay, opening. Hopefully this doesn't explode. Oh, there's a Mylar packet. Can I read the instructions or are they in English? Wheat flour, veggie oil, Vegemite, contains yeast extract, barley, wheat, Caramel, corn flour, also known as maize, um, cheese. Oh, one percent of cheese. Right, it's got a wee bit of cheese in it. It's only got one percent. Um, it actually says that. See, one percent of cheese. Um, shouldn't that be like Vegemite and almost cheese then? Their shapes? No way. I'll have to do that later. Um, so these are basically crackers. Uh, that apparently look like Australia. I will totally get all over that later. Okay. Now, <clears throat> for those of you... Oh, I can't pop the bubbles. That'd be bad. Ah, oh, crap. I've done it. I popped a bubble. And in here... Don't pop 
the bubbles. Did it again. Thanks, Danny. I've now created a intergalactic temporal problem. I blame the bard. And here we have Australia's primary export other than kangaroo hats. Vegemite. Essential for brain function. Hmm. Supports nervous system. Does that mean it makes you more nervous? We'll find out. Essential for energy release. Oh, that doesn't... Right. It's essential for energy release, mate. Right. You want to release the energy. You go have the vegemite. You know, release the energy. Um, foliate. Fol oh, folate helps fight fatigue. Holy fuck, this might be like the original superfood. This actually might be good for brain injury. So I'm going to attempt a non-scientific one-person study, which has no validity um, for the next however long this bottle of veggie might last. Um, essential for brain function, supports your nervous system. I might do a Vegemite session on how Vegemite cures brain damage. Totally. Um, hashtag um, comments and claims have not been validated or in any way authenticated by any responsible scientist, Food and Drug, Health Canada, um, you know, the American Agricultural Association, or the, uh, the Guild of Australian Drop Bears. So I'm told this goes really well on um, a crumpet. So I'm going to place you fine people on pause. Um, I'm going to go make a crumpet. Well, technically toast. Um, and then we'll come back and I'll do a cooking channel. Okay. So I'm going to place you fine people on pause and I will be right back. Hi there. So if I had the ability to edit properly, like three minutes later. So I've made, sorry, I've toasted a crumpet. So this is really a three part recipe. So one, grab a crump crumpet, toast it. That's step one, two, butter it. Three, grab the Vegemite. Never had this stuff before, at least that I can remember. Doesn't smell horrible. Doesn't taste bad. Take a bit of the Vegemite. So I'm told this is the way you eat it. At least by my Australian friends. Looks a bit like poo. Oh, you Aussies are just a bit weird. You know? Right, fancy bit of poo on your crumpet. Hmm. Oh, well. Close up the Vegemite and I'll see what the directions are. Do I have to refrigerate this or is it a half life of ever? Um, store in a cool place. It's a trademark of bag of cheese, suitable for vegetarians. Hmm. Made from at least 95% of Australian ingredients. Maybe this is soil and green. Maybe it's 95% Australians. Um, I'm not sure. I will ask my Australian friends, or if you're from Australia, Australia, um, if you know if I need to put that in the refrigerator or the ice box, let, leave it in the comments down below. So now I'm going to grab a Tim Tam. Do a Tim Tam straw. Didn't know this existed till like a couple months ago. Also, drop bears. Didn't know they existed either. So, you grab the Tim Tam. See how they survive shipping. Oh, right. Oh, brilliant. The Tim Tams. So, you take the Tim Tam. This is a very strategic process. So, you find a corner of the Tim Tam. Come saw. And you nip. And you find the opposing corner, comes off, and you nip. Then take one end of the Tim Tam and place in your beverage of choice the other end of the Tim Tam into your embouchure and, you know,
and it gets a bit gooey. And not in a good way. Well, actually in a good way. So, there's the Tim Tam Straw guys. Right, Vegemite. It's not bad. It's got a bit of a... Um, a beerish kind of taste. Ye yeast extract, okay. Yeast grown on barley and wheat. Salt, mineral oil. It's almost like Guinness on toast. I was expecting, I honestly, honestly, expecting to gag right But now I'm like, <laughs> so Stanny, um, I have your address. I will send you a Canadian care package. Um, don't know it'll be in it yet. We unfortunately don't have Vegemite. Um, we do have Cheese Whiz, but I'm assuming you can get Cheese Whiz down there. Uh, we'll, we'll see. Okay. So anyways, that's my unbox, unboxing from Australia with the Tim Tam Straw Vegemite and the shapes we'll explore later. They appear to be crackers in the form of shapes. So I realize I've been gone for a while. Uh, part of that's COVID. Part of that is um, uh, things going on in my personal life. Uh, in the world. Some of that is a mental health related issue. Uh, some of that is um, a mental health issue in relationship to some ongoing legal issues I have going on. Uh, and I know I've mentioned these legal issues a couple of times. I would really like to give fair comment about these legal issues. Unfortunately, Everything right now, if I was going to say anything, I'd have to press, like, give the, the preamble. Everything I would say is an allegation. It's unproven or untested in court. They are my allegations. You know, they are, um, like, I'm not going to do that. Um, so I, I do have some legal issues ongoing because of some of the outcomes of my stroke. going to leave it at that. Um, for those of you that know me personally, you may have an idea of what's going on. Uh, for those of you that actually know what's going on, great. Please do not leave any comments down below because I would have to delete them. So I'm asking anyone that knows me personally um, not to leave any comments down below because I, I don't want to be perceived as prejudicing anything that's ongoing uh, in any forum uh, against any potential party simply because this is not the time or space or place to have that conversation. When I'm able to have that conversation, um, not, not legally, but um, without any undue ramifications or repercussions, because I, I could, I could literally, actually, figuratively, um, and with a sense of oratory, spend the next five hours regaling you with the fine story of the dread that I've experienced. Um, I'm not going to do that. Because someone's going to have to go for a pee break, and someone's going to, hey, can you start again? And I need to go get a snack, and do you have any more Vegemite? No, I'm not sharing. Uh, so there's a lot there to unpack, and I don't really want to unpack it right here, right now. And for re in, in some cases, for reasons of confidentiality, um, to keep the actual proceedings confidential, I'm probably not allowed to, uh, because... In some cases, we're still at the kind of arbitration stage or mediation stage, uh, so I can't I can't really give fair comment or make I'm not going to make comment at all because I'm not going to make anyone have to respond with like we're not allowed to comment because this issue is currently before a legal body, so I'm not going to not going to have that conversation. Um, all I can say is there's been some very significant and difficult issues for me to have to piece through uh, some very. Um, frustrating this is where i want to use very specific descriptors but I, i'm refraining to um this is this is it's been very frustrating it's been very demanding uh mentally taxing 
uh, long story short, it has, it has significantly impacted my mental health. Uh, that, that's, that's all I'm going to say there. So there have, have been some ongoing significant issues that um, you find people would not be aware of. And I know I've made sort of a um, light reference to. <clears throat> so in, in regards to the legal things that are going on right now, that's all I can really say. Uh, one of the reasons why I've been gone is because some of these issues are quite difficult for me to deal with. Um, they're kind of complex. Uh, they are multifaceted. There are many moving parts to it. Um, it just, and, and because it's in some cases at the, or right about the, um, waiting for an arbitration, uh, hearing, I can't really say much because I'm kind of bound by not saying anything at all. So all I am going to say is what I have said. Um, and again, please don't ask me any specifics, uh, cause I won't answer the question. Um, in fact, I'm just going to, if I see that question, I'm just going to delete it. If you know me personally, or you actually know, you actually have personal intimate knowledge or partial knowledge of the situation, please don't leave any comments or questions in relationship to it. Cause I'll, I'll have to delete them. Um, because I'd have to, uh, and that's not me trying to be an ass or a dick or, or create some sense of illusion or mystery. It's just the truth. Right. Um, and that, and that, that is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. <clears throat> so Stanny, uh, and from my fans or friends, actually friends down under, not fans down under. I've probably got a couple fans down under. Thank you for the Tim Tams. I'm not going to make straws out of every one of these cause that would just get messy. Yeah. A Tim Tam and a tea. Not a good, not a good plan. The Vegemite. It's not horrible. It's kind of like beer on toast. I'm kind of perplexed that essential for brain function supports nervous system, essential energy release, and helps fight fatigue. This might be the neurological superfood. <laughs> um, in fact, I'm about to put that on um, Twitter, if not Instagram. Not bad, though. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I was quite fucking scared. I was very fucking scared about the Vegemite, never having had it before. And you hear people like, eh, Steve, right? So, no, actually not bad. I put that down my neck again. So, on that note, I'm going to bid you find people uh, farewell. You're going to start seeing some more regular content coming uh, out of the channel. Um, happy 2021. I hope you've all had a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Um, to my friends that are in the United States, I hope you're safe. Um... And if you happen to want to get in contact with me, you can do it at strokeassaulter at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram or on the Twitter. Um, just type in strokeassaulter. You'll find me straight away. Uh, if you want to leave a comment down below, please do so. If there's something you'd like to see me cover, like a, like a topic you'd like to see me explore, please leave a comment down below. If you know someone that's going through the recovery of a stroke or a brain injury, <clears throat> Please, again, point the channel out to them. They may get some benefit out of the content I, I generate. Um, if you know someone that's supporting someone that's uh, recovering from a stroke, again, please po point the channel out to them. They may get some benefit out of the content I generate. Uh, for those of you who have been enjoying the channel, thank you for subscribing. I think I'm at like 284 subscribers. Again, thank you all for taking the time to subscribe. And again, like, subscribe, share all the content. And if you happen to see either in yourself or someone around you, the signs and symptoms of a stroke, not being someone, someone who appears to be immediately befuddled, confused. Um, they've lost their sense of balance. Uh, someone has vision problems. They can't see out of one eye. They can only see in grayscale. They see a little dot of the world. Someone has facial droop. There's an invisible noticing, noticeable slackening of the facial muscles. Someone who can't raise both arms equally, effectively, or at all. Someone has slurred, stuttering speech, inappropriate language for situation or context. You have the inability to understand speech. It sounds like the teacher off the peanuts. <laughs> Um, uh, you can't smile equally effectively or at all. You, um, have the inability to stand unaided general body weakness or weakness on one side. Please immediately place that person in a position of comfort and down nine, one, one, something so simple could save a life.